Well, we're over at one of Chelmsford Anglin Association waters, and uh, yeah, I'm putting the armour mesh for its paces, and uh, I'm into one now. A little messed up bag of pellets, so what I'm going to do today is uh, give you some nice little tips on uh, getting the best out of this product. As I've already said, we're over here at one of the Chelmsford Anglin Association waters and uh, we're testing or putting the armor mesh through its paces. I've used this product myself for quite a number of years now. Uh, and the main two purposes of it really are, are one, you can actually protect boilies with it. So not from craze, but certainly from things like poos on shat or general nuisance species. Um, you won't know, be able to whittle them down. Or, and the other purpose, which is what I use it more for, is for using very soft or little multiple baits fished in a tiny little bag. So it means I can fish little tiny bags of hemp, uh, cat meat, some of the baits that get overlooked. So it's got, it can have some real edges to it. So like I say, I'm here today, we've already caught a few fish, um, and I'm gonna talk you through how to tie one up. Just had this one at just under 21 pound. Put up a good hold of count of himself. Typical Club Lake old warrior, this one. Got a few knocks and bruises and old scars on him. But this one fell for a little bag, I'm a mesh bag of corn, which was about four or five grains, just squeezed into like a 14 mil size bowl. Worked a treat. So what I'm going to do now is go through how I would tie one of these little armour mesh bags up. And for this example, I'm going to use exactly what I'm spotting out of there, which is a bit of hemp corn and pellet. So we're going to take a small amount of that to start. The system I've got here is the, uh, the 14 mil system, so it's the narrow one. Now, you can drop your bait straight in and tie it off like a normal PVA bag. If you're a little bit paranoid about having the knots there, for example, then we'll go through a way of uh, tying that up. So what I'm going to do, He's going to cut off just a couple of inches of that, the actual mesh. And then probably the easiest way to turn it inside out is to drop it into the tube. And then fold, fold around the actual edges. Okay. Like so. Fold them all over. And then just push and it's turned inside out. So I'm going to take a little bit of my spod mix. A few grains of hemp, corn and pellet. Drop them down, plunge them, push them up nice and tight so it's all squeezing out of the actual mesh. So, then I'll take a little bit of floss, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a loop and then tie an overhand knot in the loop. So this will just lock it when I actually tighten it down. So I'm going to go through there like so. Let's move that out of the way a minute. And squeeze it, as I said, right up into the bag. Drop the loop over the top. And then pull on the two tag ends to tighten it down. And then what I'm going to do is put two more overhand knots in that 
Now, if you wanted to, you can cut and burn this and blob it. Uh, personally, I don't. Uh, the main reason is because if you get too close to the actual armor mesh, you'll end up melting it and putting a hole in your little bag. But I find if you put three overhand knots in, on top of that slip knot that you've got on there, and cut it, it won't move anyway. And then that side of the, uh, the bag will form the side that's near the bend of the hook, so it's out of the way anyway. So there you go. As you can see there, perfect little bag there, about 14 mil in size, two or three grains of corn in it, a few grains of hemp and a little bit of pellet. So obviously fist over the top of your bait, especially if you use it in conjunction with a PVA bag, then it works perfectly. Absolutely fantastic. Like I say, it gives you a different edge. Well, I've got a few of the baits here that I use in conjunction with armor mesh. I'll just quickly run through one or two of them with you. Uh, bread, for example, great bait, virtually impossible to fish at range. So uh, with the armor mesh, I can obviously do that. Uh, cat meat, used a lot by the match anglers. Carp love it, but again, not used by the carp boys, but too soft, basically. Put it on the hair, comes off too easy. Put it in armor mesh, works a treat. Uh, you can crumb up boily or use boily paste. It gives you a different different sort of texture and edge to it. And when you squeeze that in there, that'll actually cut through the bra uh, through the mesh anyway, and you won't even know it's there. Um, that's a nice little one. It's a sardine uh, and essential cell stick mix. So what I've done again, I've fished that with a stick, but it's given me exactly what I'm using. I'm really matching the hatch with that one. Much like mixing the uh, the actual spod mix that I'm using again. You know, I've caught on that here today. Great, great little option that. You know, fish get preoccupied a lot of time on what you're baiting up with, particularly hemp. So you can do little bags of hemp on its own if you want, or little bags of corn, four or five grains. Really good. Uh, like I say, that's just a few of them. You know, you can use tuna mixes. The, the, the options are endless. It's all about what you can think to put in there and use and what might be an edge for you. Armour um, mesh isn't something you're going to use every day, but it's definitely one of those things that you should have because at times it'll be a real edge in your armoury. Well, it's been a productive morning's fishing. This is going to be the last one for me for the uh, for the day. Um, yeah, only a small one, probably the smallest one of a lot, but all welcome. Uh, just really goes to show you, like I say, although we're on a prolific venue, the armour mesh can be really effective, not only on these easier venues, but also on the tricky ones as well. Like I say, if you use a bit of thought, then they can, it can be obviously really devastating. So it's one of those things, as I said before, it's well worth having a system or two to keep them in your bag. So you have got those options to change things around if you need to. There so, lovely little fish. One last little tip. Just remember that with the armor mesh, it's not PVA, so it's not gonna break down and melt. So any uh, odds and ends when you're tying up your little mesh bags, make sure you dispose of them correctly. And that's about it.